All right, sorry for my weird hair, but what is up, you guys? It's your boy Beast. How you guys doing? So today is the long-awaited Galaxy S21 real day in the life review. This is the normal S21, not the plus, not the ultra, just a good old S21. So what real day in the life review is a review that I'm going to use a device in my like you know typical day in the life situation and see the performance in everyday life situation and see the battery life in the everyday life situation. All right, so right now it is 5:46 in the morning and the battery percentage is of course 100 percent or or in this case, 99%. FYI, I got the Snapdragon 888 version, and yes, the SIM card is in this smartphone. However, the 5G is not that really broad in Japan yet, so I will get 5G here and there, but most of the time, I will be in 4G. Also, everything on this phone will be on default settings, so it will double tap to awake, it will be in the adaptive refresh rate, and every auto brightness and everything is on default settings. So yeah, I am super excited for this, so yeah, let me start off my day right. I have to edit for another video, and and after that, I have to go to the gym. So, cue the time lapse. I just finished editing right now it's 8 13 in the morning and the battery percentage is 89 percent and i'm using the front camera of samsung galaxy s21 how does it look does it look good i mean it looks kind of wider than the last year to be honest and they're using the 10 megapixel sensor for this and i kind of like it the skin looks a little bit smoother than iphone even i turn off the skin smoothness i don't know how does it look let's hit the gym let's go hit my pr for my deadlift which is four or five pounds i'm excited Later. Alrighty, alrighty. Alright, so right now it is 10.42 in the morning and the screen on time is 46 minutes. I was using camera here and there, but most of the time I was just listening to Spotify, listening to podcasts and music and stuff. I didn't really use any battery, but basically right now I just finished my morning routine. Your morning routine is long, bro. Shut up, bro. To be honest, the 120 hertz is really good and I'm really liking it. And the adaptive refresh rate is so smooth, the 48 hertz to 120 on the Galaxy S21. I barely noticed, you know, when the thing is not using 120 and when they're using you know only 48 hertz you know what i mean but anyway let me eat some lunch let me take some shower and i will go to yokohama and shoot some photos with my friend gaku and let's see the camera performance of this thing All right, so I've been watching YouTube video on this S21 while I was making my famous protein oatmeal. And what can I say? Even this display is, you know, 1080p and a bunch of people are like, oh, it's not 1440p. I mean, since this display is six inch, the pixel density is up to 420 or 421 PPI. I feel like I'm watching a display of like 1440p or higher, to be honest. It doesn't feel like a 1080p display. And since this display goes up to 1300 nits, it is very bright and vibrant and it is an AMOLED display so the color range is very broad so I'm not complaining even this is 1080p this display is very high quality all right let me finish my protein oatmeal and I am running very late as usual so let me just finish this up real quick and I'll see you guys at Yokohama hello sir hey what up boy are you ready for, for what? For a review of Of course, S21. always Wait, ready. Hold always up, hold ready. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I got you. Hold up. To try this. How does it feel? <laughs> oh, so, boy! Nice. <laughs> How does nice it feel? And, nice and light, nice and be light. Be honest, be honest. I mean, compared to, hold up, it's iPhone 11. It's like two thirds the weight of the iPhone 11. Mm, I mean, it is a whole plastic phone. Oh, it's plastic? Yeah, it doesn't feel oh, like shit. plastic, yeah, it right? Feel like, it feels like metal, like aluminum. Like yeah, an yeah, the frame is aluminum. In okay, the camera yeah. bump, dude, it's nice, right? Bro, nice. If, if I had to carry this to the iPhone, it'd be easier, so much easier. You wanna test the camera out? Let's do it. Let's go. Okay. All right, so the camera spec of this Galaxy S21 is the 12 megapixel wide camera, 64 megapixel telephoto camera. That's disgusting. Yeah, and 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. Also, the selfie camera is 10 megapixel, as I said in the beginning of the photo. Speaking of selfie camera, this is health. Let's get a selfie real quick, bro. And I have to say the selfie camera goes pretty wide. Too good. Too good. Yeah. And it is crispy and this place is kind of dark, but the HDR is working pretty well and the dark, you know, environment doesn't look very noisy on this camera. So I'm a big fan of it. Apparently, 
the Samsung S21 has the best portrait mode of all Android plus iPhone. So yeah. apparently they have like the best yeah, no portrait mode. I will show you, bro. I will show you. Okay, so right now it is 3 p.m. and the battery life is 51% and the screen on time is two hours. I mean, not too shabby for 40,000 milliamp with this phone size with 120 hertz display. I'm not mad at all, I'm not mad at all, it's pretty cool. But right now, you just kinda still, you know, look around trying to shoot some cool video with this phone and I wanna test it out the 8K video too. Mm. Sounds cool, so let's hang out a little bit. Let's hang out a little bit more, shall we? How do you feel about the camera? Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome, right? Blown away. I, lo I love it. And the video quality, especially this ear, Samsung totally nailed it. The HDR is awesome. Even the color is a little bit punchier than iPhone, but I still like it. It's totally fine, it's totally cool. And the AK video is not that too good, but I still kinda love it. But after this, I might go home and do some little bit, you know, watch some video, watch some Netflix, play some video game, and you know, test this battery life. So let's go, bro. All right, got my dinner. I know it doesn't look any appetizing at all, but trust me, it is good. But anyway, right now it is 5.38 in the afternoon and my battery percentage of my Samsung S21 is at 32%. I mean, the way back I was watching some Skillshare course and I was just like, you know, going through my podcasts and like playing around with Spotify and stuff. So I know the battery wasn't very that intensive. However, you know, before that I was shooting a lot of photos and a lot of videos with my friend Gaku. Anyway, let me finish my dinner and while I'm eating my dinner, I will watch some YouTube vid or Skillshare or, you know, Netflix and stuff to enjoy my, you know, big 6.2, it's not big, but like 6.2 inch, 120 hertz display of the Samsung S21. So let's get right into it. After I finish my dinner, I play a couple minutes or you know, close to an hour of Call of Duty. And what can I say? The Snapdragon 888 and the 120 hertz display perform very well on this smartphone. And even this smartphone is eight gigs of RAM. I mean, the performance is totally fine for average people like me. And for everyday usage, this phone is just killing it. Right now it is 7.30 night and night. And my battery percentage is at 17%. And my screen on time is around four hour and four minutes. However, one thing you have to notice is that I use 8K camera feature today and I play some video game and I was most of the time having this like, you know, 120 Hertz motion going on on this phone as well because I was like, you know, scrolling on Instagram and doing a web search a lot. Although this phone's battery life is not good as what can I say, like Pixel 5 and stuff, even this phone have about the same amount of battery capacity. You have to notice that this this phone is 6.2 inch and it does go up to 120 hertz. Plus this phone have a stronger CPU which is Snapdragon 888 and even the Snapdragon 888 is more battery efficient. I mean, it's still a more powerful CPU than the Pixel 5 or Pixel 4a and stuff. So of course they will eat more battery throughout the day. And when you're especially doing some like gaming and stuff, it will, you know, drain the battery. So I will say that if you put everything on default setting, I mean, the battery life is totally fine. I mean, four hour and four minutes of screen on time and every day. And if you're not gonna use the 8K camera or continuous shooting, you know, photos and videos and stuff. And if you have to play a game here and there throughout the day, and if you watch like more than hour of half of YouTube throughout the day, like I just did, I mean, this phone is totally fine. The battery life is okay. I mean, it's not crazy special. So in conclusion, do I recommend this phone? I mean, I'll say kind of yes. It's not a super bad phone and the battery life is totally acceptable and the looks and the feeling of the phone is super cool with the 120 adaptive refresh rate is very useful and the last thing you guys have to notice that I've been using this phone since 5 30 in the morning so you know using this phone all day from 5 30 I will say this phone is totally fine for almost everyone all right and it is close to 8 o'clock and I'm totally fine with this phone's battery life anyway guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys like this video please hit the like button and if you guys want to watch a review of this phone after I 
I use it for a couple of weeks as my daily, I will, you know, make a video about it. So if you guys want to check it out my other real day in the life video, I'll put the iPhone 12 mini here and I'll put the Pixel 5 right here and I'll put maybe iPad Air 4 here and I'll put my channel right here. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Peace Gates and you guys already know. Peace out guys.